everybody. This is MQR MQR. Um, and on this episode, I wanted to start out the episode with a top-down view of the Spawn Island. And you can even see sort of over there buildings, and you can't really see over there, but you can see a lot of the um of the. Or you can definitely see the Spawn Island, which is where lots of the builds on the server are. And if you are observant, you might see something on the uh, giant chicken. Let's see. Mm. Okay, so I got some employees on the giant chicken. I have sort of employee number things and stuff on the back, so the, the, the sort of melon face things. With hats! Um, yeah. Sort of a random addition. Um, I also have like one at the um the actual Mercurcorp base or Mercurcorp shop. Let's see. So yeah, in this episode I am going to be sort of improving the secret underground base. Um, so I have the figures here, I have signs. This one, there's like a creeper explosion, the sign and height got blew off. Too bad for him. Um. Oh, the cake's gone again after that. Anyway, so, on this episode, I'm, so I have the underground area. I designed this cool redstone system. You just stand here, like, in the right way, and you just shift three times. It's really cool cool. It's pretty complicated wet redstone, so I'm probably not going to showcase it in my videos. But it's pretty it, it's it's pretty cool redstone. Um But yeah, so I am going to be sort of um sort like uh, like this area here it doesn't really have much. It has like this sort of potion setup which I'll be improving and then it has some furnaces and a chest stuff in it. Yeah, so I'm going to move the stuff. Well oh. see I don't want to break this chest yet. <laughs> because I have no inventory space and it has lots of items in it. Okay, so for the potion setup, I think I'm going to need another. Let's see, I guess I guess I can put all my normal stuff sort of on the back wall here. Um I'm going to end up needing some chests, so I might as well just craft them now. Anyway, so I guess I'll just have this in the middle, and on the side I can input the potions, so I can get a chest. And then I can attach a thing to that. Um, actually, probably would be better if I um did it on the other side of the base or of the setup. You know it's a it, and, and this it's this is out of context, but it's a really weird glitch, like the whole chest sort of seems to break when you break part of it. Yeah anyway. Um, I guess I'm just gonna need a block to place down so I can access this, but if I place this down here, 
and let's see, I have some signs, um, done, slab here, done, um, that's another slab there, and I can put some water here, so if I, ax if I get, like, some bottles, um, I don't have any sand on me, so I can't demonstrate right now. But I can just write, I can just fill up my inventory with like a block. Or I guess I can, I can sort of demonstrate here. Just gonna have to drink a bit of water. Um. If I just fill my inventory up and then right click, it'll shoot out the item and it should go into this and then the chest is like a bunch of <laughs> uh, that ruined my inventory. Um, so now I can see. I need to keep that block there. Um, place down under this probably a hopper. Um, let's see. I guess I could also put an ender chest down here because it gets annoying accessing things up here. It's my turn. I'll put it here. Um, I could probably make it double wide because I may end up making a lot of potions. Then hopper here. And yeah, that can be a problem. So, what I'm going to do, I hope this works. Um. I can get a lever here, and if I power it, um, the sh potions should, yeah, the potions stay in the system, so when I have, like, full potions brewed, I can just do that, and it will empty the potions. Alright, so I'm going to also need a system to input the uh, ah, I'm going to need a system to input the ingredients and I think I can just use a hopper for that. Um, I, I guess I might as well just put a chest on the hopper but it doesn't really matter that much. Or, let's see, will that be a problem? I'll demonstrate the system. So I have this chest here. I guess I will get um, some nether wart, of course, since that's needed for brewing. Um, then I guess I'll brew a speed potion. And I'll maybe extend it and turn it into a splash potion. I don't know if it's the other way around anyway, this is just for demonstration. I would do this much more efficiently than just having one water bottle in there. So I would place down in the chest the nether wart, and, or the hopper not chest, and then the sugar. 
And then I think the gunpowder and the redstone. And that should brew up. Let's see, meanwhile, I guess I can make the blocks here. The dark prismarine. Oh, oh wrong thing. Okay, so let's see, this is going to probably take a while to grow up. Actually, no. Um. So meanwhile, I might as well work on the setup. Um, I can place down the furnaces. So I guess I'll need for smelting glass here. Um. I have any sand on me? I'm not gonna look that on video. Um, okay, yeah, so I have a six minute speed potion. I could empty that. And then it goes in the system, so I don't know. I guess I'll put this up for sale. And then I'm probably going to have some more chests here and here just to sell potions. Um, but anyway, I guess I'll put it here for now. Really, it's not that good of a potion. I guess I could put it under a, um, like, pressure plate and stuff. Or I guess it's, well, yeah, you can dispense the potion, and yeah, but I don't, I guess it's not really, it costs more, but it's not really val more valuable. And also, when you ever use slash potions, it just ends up being, like, half the time. Or not half the time, but you always lose a certain amount of time. I guess I can make that a stair uh, of... Birch. There's no prismarine stairs in the game currently, which is, I think, something they should definitely add. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video here. This may or may not be the ending of the video. Um, anyway, so cutting in three, two, one.